Scott X1307 here. I um, am doing my uh, flea market haul. Um, made it up to the uh, flea market today and uh, raided the uh, 25 cent boxes. Um, last weekend, the guy said he was getting about uh, four new boxes, long boxes in. Um, this weekend so I decided to uh, run up there since I had the day off and see what new stuff he got in a bunch of a uh, bunch of good stuff uh, all quarter books um, and uh, yep let's get right into it um, picked up surprisingly a good amount of DC uh, usually I find um, I'm picking up more Marvel and independent stuff, um, but uh, he had a lot of good uh, uh, DC back issues, um, a lot of Batman, Detective, and uh, some Teen Titans and things, and uh, picked up some stuff, uh, stuff I don't normally pick up, but um, don't normally see uh, there. Uh, anyway, uh, first I uh, got a few Teen Titans issues. I've uh, got uh, New Teen Titans number 17 and I uh, got this to uh, finish that run and also because the title is She's Possessed and reminds me of my girlfriend so. haha <laughs> um, yeah it's not in bad condition it's not bagged and boarded see the pages are a little off white but yeah they're uh, by a lot they're five for a dollar so can't beat that 20 cents uh, also got Tales of the Teen Titans which uh, that series becomes this year 41 uh, this is number 57 uh, got issue 59 <laughs> pretty cool cover it says featuring the very first new Teen Titans story ever, plus the rarely seen Teen Titans Digest tale guest starring Speedy and Aqualad. So I guess it's got some reprints. So. And tells Teen Titans number 60. Let's see the cover here. These are in okay condition. Um, maybe fine, minus. The worst thing is the interior pages uh, uh, are all, you know, off-white, cream. Um, sometimes you find them they're starting to tan, but, uh, you know, 20, 25 cent books. Uh, and I found some Omega Men. Um, grabbed uh, issue number one. This one's bagged and boarded. It's uh, in very fine shape. It's still in uh, surprisingly good condition. And this was not bagged or boarded, and I'm surprised. It's it's in really great shape. Um, I've got a couple of copies of this, but couldn't pass it up for um, you know 20 cents. Uh, Omega Man number three, first Lobo. Uh, you see, even the back still pretty white. Um, edges, um, cover, no bad damage. The spine is still good. And these interior pages are still pretty white. A little, little off-white, but not bad. I was really surprised. And uh, then Omega Man number four. Uh, like I said I found uh, some cool detective comics. Um, these are uh, from the uh, late '80s. And uh, some uh, Mike Mignola covers, and uh, some uh, Norm Brayfogel uh, artwork and covers as well. So uh, first, I got uh, issue 583, and again, this is one of those not bagged and boarded. And the exterior is still in pretty good shape. Great Mignola cover with his fat Batman. But you see the interior pages are off white. But uh, for 20 cents, I believe this is the first appearance of uh, 
uh, Scarface here. So, not bad. Also got a Detective 590 with this really cool looking cover here. Uh, 593, it's like Batman in the mouth of a demon. Five ninety six, which almost looks like uh, he's gotten beat up by Spider Man, but it's movie real. But still, that looks very much like uh, Spider Man just tangled with Batman. And Batman lost. <laughs> and then finally, uh, Detective six fifty one, and this uh, I just thought was a really cool cover. And a Batman dropping there with the bats. And the moon in the background. Kind of a classic Batman pose. Uh, and then uh, found a good many Batman issues. Uh, a little older, not. Uh, these are all 80s, late 80s, and uh, like early uh, like 1990. Um, got uh, this. Batman 431, which I thought was a really uh, neat cover it's by George Pratt. Well, that was pretty cool. Um, Batman 436, which is uh, Year 3, Part 1. I believe this is the first appearance of Tim Drake. Not in costume. Issue uh, part two of that, issue 437. And part three, issue 438. And I have part four, I believe, so I have that complete story there. And also Batman 445. So, uh, these are all, I believe, Jim Apero art inside. This is a Brian Bowling cover. Uh, looks like Batman outside the Kremlin. Um, number 450, which I thought was a cool Joker cover. Joker like he's just sitting there alone in the dark, kind of pissed off. And then Batman 454, which is part of the Dark Knight, Dark City. This is part three. It's another... Uh, Cool Magnolia cover there. Again, with the fat Batman and a fat Riddler. All his characters are really stocky. I think he looks pretty cool. Uh, really, I like his Batman. So. And then uh, finally, uh, Batman 456. I believe this is when. Uh, um, Dick Grayson's kind of remembering um, being Robin. And uh, found a couple of um, fairly early, uh, earlier Sandman issues. This is uh, Sandman number 30. It's uh, part of the end of uh, Distant Mirror storyline. Pretty good condition. Cover's still pretty white. It's it's getting a little off white, but not bad. And issue number thirty-two, which is part one of uh, Game of You. And uh, this is uh, open this up. The interior page is a little off white, but not bad. So, love those uh, Sandman stories. Find those up for a quarter. Got to pick those up. And then uh, I found a couple of uh, dollar books, and uh, he uh, was doing 20% off all the uh, books that weren't uh, a quarter. Um, so I picked these up. So that makes them what, like 80 cents a piece. Uh, this is uh, Flash 286. Uh, this got this neat cover here with the Rainbow Raider. And uh, found D 
Detective Comics number 500, um, which I was really surprised to find. It's a pretty thick issue, uh, 500 anniversary celebration. That one's also a dollar, 20% off. Uh, again, interior pages in this one are uh, a little tan, but uh, you see it's square bound and it's still doesn't have that bad flattening or squishing that it gets. It's not bad. And uh, I was really happy to find this. Um, it's, mm, VG Plus, probably. Uh, it's not bad shape. Find it at a flea market. Um, you know, for a dollar. So, Commandy number two. trying to complete uh, a number of these uh, DC Kirby titles uh, and uh, I have issue number two. don't have many command I have issue number one and two and then that was issue seven or eight or something like that um, don't find many of them at the flea market so yep so that was uh, the uh, first part I uh didn't spend a whole lot of money, but um, I got a lot of books. I got about a, another stack about this thick. Um, they're all quarter books except for a couple of dollar books at the end. And again, you know, 20% off, so they're like 80 cents a piece. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'll do that in a separate video coming up. Thanks again, everybody, for watching and for uh, all the comments. And um, cool. Hope everybody had a good uh Free comic book day. And once again, thanks. Keep reading those books. Later.